weird to think that we are less than two months away from Call of Duty Black Ops 4's release. That World War II in two months time will no longer be that main active title in the franchise, and so we're fast approaching that end time. But if you're like me, one of the people that still very much so enjoys playing World War II and will probably do so up until the time of Black Ops 4's launch, and maybe even afterwards as well, chances are you're still probably grinding out some levels for Master Prestige, or maybe not even Prestige, maybe you're grinding out contracts for supply drops for weapons coming up in the future, whatever it may be, but you're still playing the game. And so in that sense, today I wanted to give you guys something that I've been kind of challenging myself not to use my standard weapons that I normally use. Because I do find myself falling back into a pattern of using the same three to five weapons on a regular basis. If it's an SMG, it's the PPSH. If it's a rifle, it's the AVS. If it's a sniper, it's the Delilah or the Car 98K. If it's an LMG, it's the Lewis. And so therefore you can start to see where those trends that you fall back into always arise. So I wanted to challenge myself and do something a little bit different and play with some weapons that I haven't either played with in a long time or ones that I haven't really ever given much of a chance. So in that sense, today we're going to be taking a look at four weapon class setups that if you are still playing Call of Duty World War II, you absolutely need to try because I can promise you, you'll shred with them. So that said, we're going to jump into four class setups. Honestly, a lot of them are very similar. There's a little bit of variation in between each of them, but the base core components are rather close to similar across the board with these. And that's for the fact of I like to run and gun with these. I like to be up in the action. I don't like to sit back or have to really conceal myself. So in that sense, you'll start to see why some of the classes themselves are relatively similar just by the gameplay and what we describe. And one final note, I wanted to try and keep this as relative to somebody that doesn't necessarily need to have any DLC weapons as possible. One of these is, yes, a DLC weapon, but the other three are base weapons you can end up getting. One's still a prestige weapon for a division, but other than that, that's it. But that said, let's jump in with our first one, that being a weapon that I honestly haven't used since around January or February, that being the Type 100. This SMG class is one that's with the new meta of Armor Division. You can still be very mobile, you can still have a run and gun playstyle, but you do have that extra protection that Armor Division will offer you. So in that sense, keeping that in mind with the Division, I also run on the Type 100 Rapid Fire Extended Mags, which will offer you 45 shots instead of just the standard 30, as well as Quick Draw. Now, the Rapid Fire, of course, helps that rate of fire route, and in a gunfight where the Type 100 doesn't have the most favorable fire rate of SMGs, it brings it up a little closer to something you might see rival that of other weapons like the PPSH or the M1928. So in that sense, they're not quite at the peak, but they're definitely not middle of the pack if you end up putting rapid fire on. Extended mags obviously gives us a little more in terms of ammunition, and then quick draw is obviously that one that will help you get your aim up as quick as possible in a gunfight, because that's one thing that, especially with SMG play, you definitely want to have that quicker advantage and get your first shots off, because a lot of the times it comes down to who has the first shot and who can hit those first shots. So to be able to get your weapon up as fast as possible, definitely crucial. After that, we end up running these specialist basic training, and you'll see that all across all of these here, so get used to specialist with this one. If you don't want to use specialist, it's totally cool, but I find that specialist is tremendously easy to dominate with, and is something that if you like to chain together, say, non-lethal streaks, which I usually run a recon or a counter recon on the regular as is, so I'm not really missing out in the sense of too many kills that I could be losing out with streaks, but regardless, I run escalation, hustle, and energetic for specialist, and then after you get that specialist bonus, obviously you get the whole array of basic trainings offered with the specialist basic training, but escalation first allows me to end up having that quicker ADS time even more so, and then hustle will allow us to reload faster and on the go, and energetic gives us that extra little bonus of not having to take fall damage and still move a little faster. Now as for the secondary, I don't really ever use the secondary as we've kind of set up basis with previous class setups, but since it doesn't take away anything like a pick 10 system would, it's always nice to have something in your back pocket just in case you run out of ammo and are in a pinch situation. So I'll run a machine pistol with extended mags for all of these class setups we'll be getting to. Then also the frag and stun. I don't necessarily need those, but since they don't take anything away, I run both the frag as well as stun. So the Type 100 is definitely a nice class that is fun to come back to, but definitely not necessarily the best one up on this list here because there are some that I think definitely beat it out, but still, you can definitely shred with it. After that, we're gonna jump over to the rifle classification, and this is where it's the only DLC weapon we're talking about today, that being the M2. Now, this one is one that is very similar to the M1, but is the automatic version of it. You don't have to spam your trigger to get every single one like you would with a semi-auto. You can just hold it down if need be, but this is something that, again, works perfectly with armored division. It actually works very well with infantry as well if you're not necessarily looking to use armored because you get the increased strafe speed, and that's something that until you get hustle and some of the other specialist based basic trainings with this class setup, your initial ADS time and movement is rather slow, so if you 
want to put on infantry so that you end up having that ADS movement a little faster. That's totally cool as well. But as for the actual weapon itself on the M2, I end up running extended mags, high caliber, as well as rapid fire. Now the M2's base fire rate isn't the greatest, but it also isn't the worst. So it's something you may be able to get away without this, but I definitely like the upped fire rate. High caliber is definitely something that I really think you need on almost all rifles because it makes the extra headshot lethality almost negate an entire shot at times. You can two shot people in the head with this and it'll be something that even at range you'll pick that off. So that's something fantastic to have at your disposal and also extended mags is something that allows you to have just an extra few shots and with the M2 I felt like the base M2 really ran out of ammo fast and so therefore having about a third extra magazine in on each mag was definitely very helpful. As for specialists we end up running hustle firstly because hustle allows you to reload faster and the M2's base reload time isn't the greatest, it's not the worst again, but it also is not very advantageous if you're trying to bob and weave in between enemies. After that, we end up having Escalation, which will top off our mag with double kills, but also allow us to ADS quicker, which is definitely crucial. And then Forage is something that I have here instead of waiting until a specialist bonus, just because around this time, around six kills, is right whenever I get either down to one magazine or without extended mags, I would be on that last magazine. So it's something that allows me to keep going and get to that specialist bonus and then therefore keep the streak alive. After that, again, we run the machine pistol with extended mags and the frag and the stun grenade as well, just as that stuff that's kind of there for backup purposes. Now, after this, jumping back to the SMG classification, we're going to round out with two more SMGs. I've been playing a lot with SMGs and rifles, obviously, as you can tell with these. But the one thing that I will suggest for this M1928 class setup is that if you have it, definitely rock the Wayfinder 2 variant. I think this might be one of my favorite variants within Call of Duty World War II. It's just kind of quirky out there, vibrant, and just fun to look at. That and the Iron Curtain 2 are probably my two favorite variants in World War II, but regardless, the M1928, put this on with the Airborne Division and Rocket with the Rapid Fire Extended Mags and Quick Draw, and you're going to be in business. The M1928 already has a solid rate of fire, but with the Rapid Fire, you shred anything up close and personal. You might have to sacrifice a little bit of the control that you have in mid-range engagements, but if you end up playing around with the recoil enough, you'll start to get the hang of it, and you should be able to counter that by pulling down on your stick accordingly, but it is something that the Rapid Fire definitely helps helps the close quarters engagements. Extended mags, of course, allows you to have more ammo in your mag and also doesn't require you to reload every five seconds because you are burning through so much ammo. And quick draw allows you to get that weapon up to ADS faster, which is always fantastic. You can end up, if you want to sacrifice quick draw for this, steady aim is probably the next best thing that I would suggest here for this in place of quick draw, but comes down to personal preference at that point. Now, as for the basic training, you guessed it, specialist. We're going to end up running hustle, escalation, and flanker with this one. Hustle allows allowing us to reload while moving and also faster. Escalation allowing us to get that ADS even quicker after kills. And then Flanker will allow us to go a little undetected to keep that streak alive so that we can end up going in and getting right up in the enemy's faces without them necessarily noticing. And again, as with the other class setups, we have the Machine Pistol as the secondary with extended mags just because it's there and also Frag as well as Stun Grenades. This one is honestly one of the ones I've had a lot of fun with even though I don't use the M1928 all that much and I actually don't even think I got it gold earlier in the year. So coming back to it and playing around with it a lot, I had so much fun with this one. This one actually might be my favorite class setup here out of what we've talked about so far and what we'll talk about in just a second as well. So the M1928, especially if you have that Wayfinder variant, play around with that one for sure. But the final class setup we're going to be talking about in this one is that of the MP40. Now this one was the prestige weapon for the Airborne Division and back in the day it was a melt machine. It got a bunch of buffs and some slight nerfs, but in the past couple of months it's kind of gone by the wayside as not necessarily a mainstream meta weapon, but it still is fantastic, both in terms of practical use and also in terms of statistical hard-coded stats. So whether or not you want to rip people apart up close or you want to challenge them at medium to long range, the MP40 with the right attachments is definitely a weapon that can do that for you. So that said, with this one, we end up running armored because meta right now is still armored. You'd end up getting less damage from explosives and tactical grenades and stuff like that. Really helps in that aspect and allowing you to keep moving moving forward without much damage if an enemy is playing that tactical game. But on the class setup, I end up running Quick Draw for 
obvious purposes once again, rapid fire and extended mags, same reason as with what we saw with the Type 100. Because you do want to keep as much ammo on hand as possible, because you are going to want to stay alive, rapid fire brings the rate of fire up a little bit more so to a competitive standpoint, whereas the MP40 naturally doesn't have the worst fire rate, but it also is nowhere near the best. So bring that up is of course a great advantage here for that weapon. And then specialists, we end up running the same basic training setup as we did with the last class setup with the M1928, that being Hustle, Escalation, and Flanker. Hustle allowing us to reload faster, Escalation allowing us to get that ADS even quicker after kills, and of course, if we get doubles, topping off our magazine is definitely nice. And then Flanker allows us to get up in the enemy's business without them necessarily noticing. And of course, closing out, we do have the same peripheries as with all the other ones, a machine pistol with extended mags just in case, and then a frag grenade and eight tactical stun as well. So that said, that is four class setups that honestly, all today I was just shredding through enemies. There were some times where I did come across some very decent matches or things weren't exactly going my way, but if you end up getting the hang of these weapons and can be able to use them in a regular basis, and in most situations, you're going to be able to thrive with them. It will take some getting used to, I will say that, but once you get the hang of it, you're going to be on your way to some V2s and things like that. I choked a bunch today alone, and even in some of the gameplays you'll probably see we got on like 20 or 23 or something like that, and then ended up failing them by some tragic circumstance. My probably favorite out of that was a PTRS user pre-aiming a corner, and I ended up dying to it. So, it happens, but it is something that, again, give these a try if you guys definitely are still playing World War II. There's still a lot of stuff that I think I can recommend to you guys because I'm still finding new things that I like every day. So, if you guys enjoyed this kind of stuff, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Always love to hear your feedback on these class setups if there's something that you guys really do enjoy or if you have some tweaks that you would offer up. Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II content. Anything regarding updates, best class setups, tips, tricks, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to check out a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. And also, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, get a little more active over there. So that link is down there for you guys to check out also if you want to, but totally up to you. But all that said, now that I thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.